Good afternoon. Good morning to some. Thanks for joining us today for our Burnett webinar. Our Bur it's hard to say Burnett webinar. It's usually a Bernina webinar, um, but today we're doing a very special edition of the Net Burnett webinar. My name is Adrienne Gallagher. I am a national product educator at Bernina Canada. I'm here with Deb. Deb, say hi. There's Deb. Thanks for joining us, Deb. Um, everybody, uh, do thank Deb for doing the camera work today and answering your questions and making that on-camera appearance. Thanks, Deb. And you may see her, you may hear her uh, prompting me with questions and also prompting me with some of the important points we wanted to talk about today. So thank you so much for being here today. Deb, don't ever leave me. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to today's webinar. The topic is Burnett. Who is Burnett? What is a Burnett? How is a Burnett? How many Burnett's? So many Burnett questions. Today's webinar is recorded. If there is a technical difficulty on your side, or you have a child or a dog or a husband that needs medical attention or attention of some sort, don't worry, we're gonna send you the recording of the webinar and you can watch it again at your leisure. You can share it with your friends. Um, you can make fun of me, whatever you wanna do with that webinar, it's, it's up to you. And just a quick note, we are experiencing on and off again thunderstorms here uh, in Whitby, Ontario. So if something does go out, we will, re-record the webinar and we'll send it to you so you'll get this valuable information so bear with us if you hear loud noises it could be the warehouse people more than likely it's the universe saying hello to us so uh, sit back and enjoy if you have a pen or a pencil some paper handy that might be useful otherwise i'll put any important links or pertinent uh, information in the follow-up email that you'll be getting so welcome that's the intro i think we can move on Deb says, yes, please move on. Oh, last thing, if you have a question on your control panel, on your screen, you should be able to type in uh, questions. So please do say hi to Deb, tell us where you're coming from, or um, type in your questions about Burnett or Bernina in general. We're happy to answer them today. All right, well, let's get started with the agenda for today. So um, Burnett, a lot, not a lot of people know about our Burnett line. It's kind of our little hidden secret. Um, what the heck is a Burnett machine anyway, Adrian? Well, I can tell you that. I know I have the info. Burnett is a, a brand under the Bernina umbrella. So it is owned and operated by Bernina. You're getting a Bernina product when you, do, when you buy a Burnett. The name itself honors our company president, Odette Elchke. She was the president from the late 70s to the late uh, 1980s. She was third generation uh, owner of the Bernina company and innovated a lot of important products and important upgrades to our sewing machines. And we're so proud to have had Odette as our leader in those times. She in, invented sort of the way our knee lift works and all kinds of other things. She followed in the footsteps of her family and has many patents under her name. She's just a very interesting person. And what happened was HP, the current president of Bernina, honored his mom by combining Odette's name with Bernina and came up with Burnett. So that is the story of how Burnett came to be. Uh, Odette uh, gave the reins of the company to our current leader in 1988. So this was an homage to Odette and it was introduced in 1989. So this brand has been around for a long time worldwide and in Canada as well. We've been supporting this brand for over 30 years. And basically what Burnett stands for is quality at an affordable price. You know, Bernina machines uh, today, I think Bernina machines start at just under $2,000. That's not everybody's budget. So we want to be able to offer a full line of sewing machines that covers every um, budget that you might have. So that's where Burnett fits in. All right. You don't have any questions, do you, Deb? You looked so busy there. Just saying hi to everybody. Oh, good. Awesome. Well, thanks, Deb. Um, so the I want to usually I start at the lower end of Burnett's. 
But today I wanted to buck tradition. You know why? To honor Deb. It's Deb's birthday month, guys. So definitely say happy birthday to Deb. Um, I thought I'd give her this as a present. You're not going to get the chocolates we talked about earlier. Sorry about that. Um, so we're going to talk about the best brunettes out there. And that starts with our top of the line, the, the B70 series, and it's made up of three machines. The first machine is the B70 Deco, and it is an embroidery only machine. We use the word Deco in Burnett to indicate embroidery only. Did you know that, Deb? I did not know that. Hey, we taught Deb another thing today. Pretty great. We also have the B77 machine, and it is a sewing only machine. Really great machine. Um, actually, we had a lot of those just go out of the warehouse. So um, a really popular machine. Interestingly enough, do you see the screen on this machine? It looks very much like a, a Burnett or Bernina, and we're going to delve into that a little bit more. And then the very top of the line, possibly my favorite machine, is the Burnett B79. And I've shown it here twice on the screen. Why, Deb? Why would I show it twice? Because it's so awesome. It, because it's so awesome is what Deb says, but also because it is a sewing machine and it is an embroidery machine. It is two in one. Pretty amazing. Sort of like me, I'm a Burnett educator and a Bernina educator. So we fit together really, really well. So this is an amazing top of the line machine that can do all the sewing tasks of the B77 and it can do amazing embroidery, like just like the B70. It's the both put together. Now, Deb, if I bought a B77 and later on, it's the sewing only machine, the B77. And later on, I want to do embroidery with it. Can I just add a module onto the B77? No. Deb says no. I can't do that. You have to decide at the time when you purchase which which model you want. So that's a little bit of a difference between uh, Bernina and Burnett. Is um, you don't have the modular uh, capabilities, but that's okay because the features on the Burnettes are amazing, and you paid a little less than on Bernina, so you're really really happy. And I'm, then I can have two machines. And Deb says then she can afford two, so that's great. <laughs> that's a really good idea. So let's take a closer look at the B79, and I wanted to say a special hello to a special guest that's joining us today from Saskatchewan, that's my sister, Mira. Everybody say, hi, Mira, happy birthday, Mira. Mira is a new owner of a Burnett 79, and she was looking for an embroidery machine, but when she saw the price of the B79 that did embroidery and sewing, she decided it was a no-brainer to get the B79, even though my recommendation was the B70. I'm still a little bit hurt, but that's okay. This is for you, Mira, here we go. All right, so here's our beautiful B79. It's got amazing lighting, LED lighting, so that's gonna last a long time, and it's super bright, I can see it, and you can turn it off. It's it's really quite fascinating and an easy to use machine. Um, it's got lots of space here, right, Deb? It's something like eight and a half, nine inches of space. That allows us to sew big projects, but also helps us in embroidery, because then you can use a larger hoop because the hoop eventually gets to the point where it hits the side of the machine. And that's what limits you to the size of your um, embroidery hoop. So that'll uh, come into play when we talk about um, embroidery on this machine. But let's look at some sewing features first. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna show you that this machine has a built-in dual feed at the back. And I'm just gonna engage it. It's kind of hard to see because Deb's at the front of the machine, but it's an extra little foot, part of a foot that adds extra feed dogs. And when this foot is down, it will help to feed everything through evenly. And it's attached right to the machine. So it's easy to uninstall and reinstall. And the machine comes with lots of different feet that either work with that dual feed or not. So this is a dual feed foot. You can tell because there's kind of a little cutout at the back to accommodate that dual feed. And that's how hard it is to take these feet off. You just pull it off to put it back on you just put it back in place and push upwards and it's back on done when you're swapping feet it just takes a couple seconds and you know where you put these feet deb knows you put them in this cool little accessory case that comes with it check it out when you open it up ah, there's a spot for each foot so you're always organized look at this there's even a spot for this guy right there there's a spot for bobbins and all the cool feet that come with it. 
if that wasn't enough organization for Deb, because she does like to be organized. In here, there's more room, and this is where you can put your uh, spool pin, your, what do you call that, buttonhole foot. It's all in there, nice and neatly organized. So that's really cool. You know what also fits in there, Deb? Chocolate, which you're not gonna get. Okay. <laughs> and what's really great about this box is you can take this off. Maybe you're not a big fan, I don't know. But now this becomes a free arm machine. So if you had to hem um, a jacket sleeve or a pant, you could run the pant around the edge here and it's a lot easier than trying to wrinkle it under the foot. What is the purpose of the dual feed? The dual feed is to make a better feeding for heavy items or items that are slippery. It's a really great feature to have. Not every machine has that, so it's really kind of cool to have it. And then if you want to, you can sew like this. You can sew with that accessory box on, or you can add this huge table. I'll show you how big it is. Look, it's as big as my face, which is pretty big. Not as big as my mouth, right, Mira? But anyway, and it just slides on to the table. I'll just slide it on, and you get a really big extension. I'll show you what it looks like. And it actually slides right in here, but I haven't adjusted for the height of my table. It slides right in and you get this huge work surface with all kinds of lines, quarter inch for quilting, five eighths for garmentry, lots of bigger um, seam allowances for drapery or any kind of project you wanna make. I love this table. It's got sturdy, sturdy legs that you can adjust for um, the height of your table to get this exact. This has just come out of the box like Mira's, so I haven't adjusted it yet. But what if, what if you want this to become an embroidery machine, Deb? What would you do? You just add the embroidery module and it just slides right on. Look how easy it is. Just lay it on the table, line it up, and click. We have an embroidery machine. Done, it's done. And what's really interesting is there's no programming that needs to be done for the machine. The machine knows that the embroidery module is on and we can start to do embroidery. Did you know that when you do embroidery, you also need some embroidery hoops. This machine and the B70 come with three hoops. I have two of them here I can show you. They are amazingly large rectangular hoops, so you get a lot of area that is sewable. So this is the medium hoop that comes with it. It's actually quite big. This is the large hoop here, which is amazing. See how large it is? You can get a huge project in there. And there's a small hoop as well. So if you're doing small monogramming, a little baby onesie, you could use this smaller hoop. I hardly ever use the smaller hoop. I use the medium hoop most of the time and this guy for bigger projects. And they just slide into the little clip on your machine just like that, slide it in, and then the machine will be able to recognize which hoop is attached. To remove it, you just press on the release. Oh, I feel like a flight attendant right now, Deb. You just press on the little release and pull the hoop out towards you. Very easy to install and uninstall um, the hoops. Simple. We're okay for questions, right, Deb? Yeah. So that's the basics that come with this um, machine right now. But right now we have a, a special that you get a new hoop, just newly developed for Burnett. This guy, the magnetic hoop. And this one comes, it's a really cool green color. Looks just like the Burdett colors. And it comes with this cutting board in between. It's not a cutting board. It's to help keep the magnets separate. This is a magnetic hoop. And rather than clamping it closed like a traditional hoop, I'm gonna, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do the screen, right? Um, rather than clamping it like a traditional um, hoop, you actually, just lift this up, put your fabric in, and you can easily hoop thick things like um, a towel, a saddle blanket, a quilt, you know, that kind of thing. So let me show you how you can um, actually quilt a quilt on this. I'll just show you briefly. Maybe this camera will work the best, yeah. So do you see my little hoop here? Oh, I'm gonna use another camera. That's too hard to see. I'm gonna do it here. Can you zoom out? We're gonna do it over here. So let's say you made a quilt. 
the top and the bottom of your quilt and you you basted it together and you want to do a very fancy design on your quilt you could send it to a long armor you could um, mark it with chalk and then you could free motion on it <laughs> or you could use your embroidery machine to make a really professional look of it so let's take a look at that over here here's my hoop and it's got this little sandwich in it to hold it open so i'm just going to remove that it's hard to separate the magnets if you don't have something um, separating them. They're just really strong magnets. And you could just place your design. So maybe I wanted to work on this area, so I could just place that there. And you just snap that hoop right back on top. And it's ready to attach to the machine and plunk my design on there. And now I've got a quilting machine. It's genius. So right you can always add a magnetic hoop to a Burnett machine. But right now there's a special on if you get a Burnett 79, we are adding a hoop in um, until the end of this sale period, which was April, you told me, April 23rd. Pretty awesome. So that's how easy it is. You, would, you could quilt that little area and then you could open up your little snap hoop, move it to the next area leaving it attached to the machine. Oh, that's another part that's amazing about this hoop. Snap it down and continue on in the next block. It's an amazing thing to do. Lots of videos online on how to use this. Lots of classes available at local stores to learn how to quilt with your embroidery machine. So hopefully that'll inspire you to try something new with your embroidery machine. Try um, using it for um, quilting as well. It's not just embroidery is great because you can make really fun things with your embroidery machine like oh you can make this cute little gingerbread house. You can monogram t-shirts and stuff like that but all of these fun things can be made with any embroidery machine. Cool. So I just wanted to show you how much the um, uh, Burnett 77 looks just like a Bernina. Let's take a look at the screen. And um, I'll take a quick look at that. So this is the Burnett 79 screen. It's almost the same on the 70 and the 77. And it's organized, if you're a Bernina fan, it's organized just like a Bernina 5 series machine. And I know it looks like there's a lot of um, options on the screen, but they're actually quite helpful. Like for example, one of my favorite features is to be able to have my needle stop down every time right now it's set up but i could have it set down every time so every time i stop sewing it'll stop down in my fabric and hold my fabric taut for me that's a cool feature um, there's a digital tension here so if you want to adjust your tension you just go on here and you hit more tension more tension will pull that bobbin thread up right if it, if that bobbin thread's just kind of lying flat on the back of your fabric you can pull it up a little bit and you know it's changed because it's yellow. So that's pretty great. Anytime you make a change on a Bernina or Burnett machine, it turns yellow so that you know that you've moved away from the, the factory setting. That's it. There's some other settings down here, tells you which foot is best for that stitch um, and cool things like that. To select a different stitch, you just press a different stitch and it'll display on the screen. I love that, that it displays how it's gonna look on the screen. Then I don't have to, you know, I still test it out, but I have a good idea of how it's gonna look. There's more stitches. There's so many more stitches in there. You want a decorative stitch? Of course we do. The decorative stitches are all organized in folders, just like Bernina's, with satin stitches in this group. These are the ones that kind of have the stitches squished together to give a nice satin look. I haven't taken the protective screen off, can you tell? <laughs> it's not reacting to my finger today. And you can make adjustments with this with your multifunction knobs. You can make them narrower, you can make it longer, shorter, whatever you wanna do, and um, manipulate those stitches as well. And we can go back and look at the cross stitch stitches. Those are very fun. You can put them together, give a traditional look because I'm sitting beside the machine. Novelty stitches, some of these are my favorite. Check out those hearts. Look at those little peaches, those little houses. And then you have all the great features that a Bernina has, 
to manipulate this stitch. So let's say we're doing hearts, but I don't want the hearts to be pointing this way on my applique. It would be better if they were the other way. You can go into information and you can mirror image it and now the hearts are going the other way. Might be easier to do that than turning your project around. Could be really great. Maybe I just wanna put two, one heart on my little luggage tag. I'm just trying to do one heart. I have that feature of pattern repeat. I can go in there, pick one. Look, it's gonna, it's gonna just stitch out one heart for me and then it's done. It, I don't even have to think, Deb. And Deb, Deb's smiling, she's like, good. <laughs> because you make a lot of mistakes sometimes, Adrian. Um, so yeah, lots of great things there. What about the creative consultant? Do you remember that feature, Deb? Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've seen it on a Burnett, where let's say Deb is trying something new today. She knows it's my birthday coming up next February, and she wants to get a head start on it, and she's gonna make me some lederhosen, because she knows I love lederhosen. So she's gonna go to the, create. she doesn't know how to make lederhosen, okay, but she's gonna try. So she's gonna go into the creative consultant, and it asks her what type of fabric is she sewing on today? And Deb's obviously gonna make this out of leather because as a vegetarian, I don't really use leather, but she's gonna make it out of leather or synthetic leather or cork. That, that would still kind of have the, the characteristics of um, leather. Cork, renewable mm -hmm. uh, lederhosen sounds really good, Deb. So let's go in there. And Deb wants to put the zipper in the lederhosen. So let's do that technique. So it's asking you, do you want a seam or buttonholes, decorative stitches or applique or a zipper? Deb wants to put the zipper in and it'll suggest some settings, a needle, thread, which stitch, which foot. Deb says, okay. She puts that foot on the machine and it's ready to go. It lengthened the stitch for her. It did all kinds of crazy things. She's ready to sew that um, amazing. I can't wait to get the layer hosing down. I've already started. That's what I'm saying. So even if you want to try something new, this machine is ready. And I mean, it might not even be a good idea to try something new, Deb. But if you wanted to, it's right there on the machine and ready for you. And there's a ton of stitches. I've forgotten how many stitches are on this machine. But we have a special feature that you could design your own stitch and I want to show you that real quick it's called stitch designer this feature is only on two Berninas it's on the 880 and the 790 plus the two top machines but it's on this top Burnett as well so let me show you that the stitch designer is right here oh sorry the one that looks like the pencil and if you touch that it brings you into this new screen and now you can design your own stitch it's really technical, Deb. It's very hard to make a stitch. Uh, I will show you how to do it. This is the clear button. And now all you do is just drag your finger around. I'll do it because I'm a trained professional, Deb. Don't worry about it. And I've just created a new a new stitch. This is the what one complete stitch looks like. And this is what it looks like stitched out in combination. How do you think I did, Deb? I love it. You love it. Okay, I'm going to name it a Deb. It's, it's the Deb stitch. Um, or you could be more precise. You could... Um, you could go stitch by stitch. Oh, maybe I'll use the stylus. This comes with a stylus. This will be more accurate. So let me clear this. And I could start with a stitch here. And I think I'm gonna go like this and come back down. What did I make? For after work, Deb? Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you made. Deb knows what I made. I made a martini glass stitch. Of course I did. Or maybe a wine glass would be better. But, you know, you can design anything you want. You could even design your own signature. Let me try that. Let me try. Uh, it's hard to do sideways, but, you know, you could do that. You could do your own signature, whatever it is. I'm going to just do a loop-de-loop. -loop. That would be fun, too. So lots of fun things to do in Stitch Designer. And you can save your stitches. You can stitch them out. Here, it's ready to stitch and I can impress my friends with newly designed stitches. Oh, you don't have that stitch on your machine? Uh, that's a custom stitch on my machine. Uh, come over and I'll show you how I did it, right? Because I, you know I love to tease you, Deb. <laughs> so lots to do on this Bernina machine. It's very versatile. It, I mean, we could go on for hours and hours about how great this machine is. It is the complete package because it's got sewing, it's got embroidery, if you want to make your own embroidery designs, it comes with a little bit of software that you can do some lettering. 
So you can do quilt labels, Mira, or you can put my name on everything. That would be really nice. Deb would like a, a purse too. That would be great. Um, and it's got editing software as well. That'll allow you to combine things. So you could buy um, a tree embroidery design and then you could put lettering underneath it, or you could buy a tree design and put a little birdie on top of it or something like that. So it is kind of nice software to get you started. It works on a Mac or a PC. It's called Toolbox. If you want to try out Toolbox software for free, I can hook you up. Go to Bernina.com, look for Toolbox software, and download the free 30-day trial. Did I mention it works on a PC or a Mac? So anybody can use it. All right. Any questions about B79's Deb? Uh, Selena's asking, what is the weight range? Uh, oh. How heavy is our, the Burnett machines? Oh, great. That's a really good question. So the Bernina... Bernina machines are crazy heavy, and Burnett machines, although they're quite large, this is quite a large machine, it is a more reasonable size to take to class. And I can tell you that the 79, Mira, how much does a 79 weigh? Uh, <laughs> when I ship it to you, it weighs 43 pounds, but the machine itself only weighs 20.5 pounds. I thought she was going to stump me on that. You're awesome. I have my Bernina product guide. I'm ready to go. All right, that was a good question. So I really like it because it is quite a large machine, but it is quite portable, but it's heavy enough it doesn't move when you do embroidery, when you do fast stitching, uh, when you're moving heavy material, it's heavy duty enough to handle cork, leather, bags, home deck material, garmentry, mm, all kinds of stuff. I can show you a sample of what we made while we're seeing if there's more questions. Um, my colleague Diane made this amazing dress. Now this dress might look familiar if you bought a B79 or a B77 because this dress is featured on the outside of the packaging. And the embroidery is actually embroidery built right into the machine so you don't need anything else. And um, yeah, you can download this pattern for free of the dress. It's actually on burnett.com. You go to whatever product, so the Burnett 79, and there's projects on the support page, or I think at the top it says sewing projects on burnett.com, it'll even say sewing projects, and I'll take you right to all the sewing projects. So all the sewing projects that you see on Burnett literature are free projects for you to try out. Pretty cool. Another reason to love Burnett, free mm -hmm. patterns? Mm -hmm. Unheard of. Deb's like, free? Hello? <laughs> she loves a free thing. So we're good for questions? Yeah, we're good. All right. Well, I'm going to go back to my um, uh, presentation, uh, and I'm going to remind, I have a slide here to remind me that although I showed you that um, hoop, uh, oh, Deb, I forgot this, uh, it actually was missing the rulers on it. When you get that magnetic hoop, you do a quick calibration of the hoop so that it's very accurate, and you put these little um, sticky rulers on it to be really accurate and it really helps with centering uh, stabilizer and centering your design and so on and so forth it just got a whole heck of a lot louder in here Deb. <laughs> the uh, storm rages on today but you know what perfect day for sewing right all right i think i got this so the other machine i wanted to talk about was um, a really popular machine of ours the B30 series and namely the Burnett 37. It's an electronic machine as well. And you can tell that on the screen, it's got an electronic screen. It's very simple to use and it stitches it up to 700 stitches per minute. What I love about this machine is although it's a really small machine, it has 15 needle positions. You, yeah, see the screen. Um, you can get very accurate sewing on this machine. You just got to put the needle in the right position and that's simple to do on it here. It comes with five snap-on soles and it weighs about 13 pounds. So this one is really easy to take to class or go sewing at your sister's place or at the cottage and tons and tons of stitches on this machine and very, very simple to use. So let me show you how easy this baby is to use because I actually recently sewed on this and I was sewing some stretch material 
and it ha handled the st stretch material really, really well. So again, you've got a little bit of LED lighting, not as bright as our V79s. You've got a lot of space here, about six and a half inches. So this is a traditional size machine, sort of like, you know, your mom's singer. It's about that size, maybe a little bit taller, just a little bit wider here. Uh, start stop button, you can start and stop it with this feature or you can use your presser foot to just your foot control to start and stop the machine and then the screen is very simple and easy to pick stitches so if you wanted the zigzag stitch the sort of zigzag zigzag stitch you can just move the cursor under the stitch pattern number and let's say you looked up in the manual that you want stitch number 15 you can just move up to stitch number 15 pretty easy to do done it sets the width and the length automatically for you and you're going to get exactly the stitch that you expect from um, the manual so really simple it's got slide speed control so when you're doing tricky things you can slow down you can speed up and of course you can always change the stitch width and stitch length the maximum stitch width is seven so i can't go any higher but i can change the stitch width I can change the stitch length. I can even change this while I'm sewing on this machine. It'll adjust as I go. It's pretty darn easy. And remember how we liked that needle up, needle down function? Well, this machine always stops with the needle up, but you can also just press the button and it'll stop down. Just one press, easy peasy. Did you have a question, Deb? Um, Brian is asking if the magnetic loop would work with a sweatshirt. Oh, that's such a good question. Um, let me just grab this. So uh, Diane is asking about this, this magnetic hoop, and it would work great with a sweatshirt because it, it is a really strong magnet. It would really clamp through the sweatshirt. Um, this is sort of the medium size one. Um, so would your shirt sweatshirt be able to fit in that area, right, flat? Would that work well? Or another method that you could use with a sweatshirt is to use a regular hoop, put some sticky back stabilizer on there, and then slap your sweatshirt on. Deb and I do like the stick technique because it's just so easy to hoop unusual items, right? Does that help? Hopefully that helps Miss uh, Diane. Mm -hmm. okay. Diane is also asking if she can use the embroidery component on her, on her B475Q. Oh, okay. So uh, Maggie has a Bernina, Bernina 475, which is a patchwork quilting machine. And the 475 doesn't have embroidery. So you can't add embroidery to um, the B, uh, the four series machines, the 435, 75, 80. So good question. So what you need is a Bernina 70, a Burnett 70. And you're off to the races and keep keep on sewing with that great 475 and then have your embroidery machine ticking away um that's kind of an insider secret deb and i do that we have one em machine doing embroidery and then in the meantime we're sewing on a binding or something like that it is kind of great to have them separate if you have a smaller space it's nice to have it all in one machine but um frankly i have a little bit of i have two tables so i'm able to put up two machines and i absolutely love having an embroidery machine and a sewing machine. Hopefully that helps, Maggie. Any more questions? Nope, we're good. Oh, cool. So just to finish up with this amazing 37, it's really nice and light, easy to take to class. It's got, a, I don't have the reference card in here, but it's actually got a stitch reference card here. So you just open this up, you go, oh yeah, I want to do that, that stitch that looks like a star and it's number 37. And then you just quickly go here and change this to 30. Seven. That's how easy it is to use this machine. Love this sleek design. It's pretty great. It does not come with um, a sewing table. It has the cool accessory box again to organize and you can slide it off and it's got free arm. You can actually add a table to the Burnett 37 at any time. That's an easy upgrade. Um, but what is really nice about this machine and all the Burnett's is now you know, Bernina is really known for our number of accessories. We really are. And uh, Burnett kind of suffered from not getting enough attention and not enough accessories. And recently we've brought on a lot more accessories for Burnett and that allows you to do more things. That allows you to do more quilting, to do more techniques of dressmaking, to do more home decoration. And, um, 
you can buy uh, accessory sets for Burnett individually or in these really good value packages of eight and 10 feet. So I really like the packages because for the price of about three feet, I get, I get 10. So um, I'm not greedy, but I, um, I like to do the math, right, Deb? So <laughs> Deb is always doing the math. So that's the best way to buy them is in these little sets. But if you just need one foot, then yeah, just buy the, the foot individually. This is the Burnett 3738 um, uh, foot set right here. And it uh, has everything from a darning foot to a gathering foot to an overlocker foot to a quarter inch foot. It's got everything you could ever need in it and more. And uh, yeah, so you can do any technique you want to do with a Burnett, which is just, just amazing. So. Hopefully you'll, if you have a burnet, you'll try adding a new foot to it to try a new technique because this can all be done on a burnet. It's pretty awesome. Any questions about that, Deb? Not about that, but uh, Donna can't wait for you to talk about the field size academy. Donna, it's like we're connected. It's amazing. I'm so glad Donna came. I'm so glad I sent her the invitation. She's amazing. So this is the best mechanical machine I've sewed on in a long time and definitely the best mechanical machine in our Burnett lineup. We have three. I don't wanna talk about the other ones, Deb. I only wanna talk about this one, the B05 Academy. Now, if you like to surf, surf the internet, you might've noticed that in Burnett America or other places, the Academy is a different color. Have you noticed that, Deb? Mm -hmm. Yep. Deb has seen some kind of reddish ones as well. There are two Bernina 05s on the market. One is called the Academy and one is called the Crafter. In Canada, we only sell the Academy. Why? Because it's the most amazing package and it's only a couple dollars more than the Crafter. The Crafter actually, we did the math, Deb, and it doesn't make any sense to have the other one. So we prefer this one and I'm going to show you why. So Deb and I, Every now and then we have to sew a sample, right, Deb? And what we do is we grab a different machine because we want to try out all the different machines. So this is what has impressed us with this machine. This machine sews at 1,100 stitches per minute. Deb and I noticed it was sewing fast and then I couldn't figure out why it was so fast. And then we looked up the specs and I was like, uh, yeah, that's a fast machine. That's a really fast machine. So um, it stitches at a really high speed. It comes with 12, 12 snap-on soles. So there's not a lot of optional feet you need. Uh, you can do a lot of things with it. Maybe you want to add a walking foot and a quarter inch foot and now it becomes a quilting machine. That'd be awesome. It only weighs 15 and a half pounds. It comes with a large sewing table and it has amazing LED lights and so many other features I want to show you. So let's take a closer look at this machine because it is frankly an amazing deal. And uh, don't tell the boss because he says I should talk about Bernina's, but we're doing Burnett's today. So this is the amazing machine. I love the cool little color that it comes in. The dials are very easy to read. They're very traditional, right? We've seen this before, Deb. We don't have to learn anything new. We've got some dials at the top to change needle position from left, center, right. We've got um, stitch length up here, sorry, stitch width up here and stitch length. And then this is just how you pick your different stitches. So maybe I want to do uh, zigzag, zigzag is B, and then I can change the length here and I can change the width here. It's fully adjustable. It's got seven millimeter openings, so I get nice wide stitches. The bobbin gets dropped in the top so I can see when I'm gonna run out. <clears throat> that always happens during binding. I sew half the binding on with no thread. It's great, it's terrific. Has a cool little needle threader that works really reliably. Um, there's not too much I can't say about this machine. It's pretty awesome. What you can't see on the right-hand side of the machine is there's actually an, two on-off switches. You have the option of putting this to rabbit, so full speed, or you can switch it to turtle, which is half speed, 
That would be great for teaching young ones. That would be great for classes when you want the students to calm down and focus on the technique and not so, so fast. Ask me how I know. Um, so that's a great option on this machine. It's it's just an amazing machine. It even has presser foot pressure, which is not on every entry level machine. This is how hard the foot is pressing down on the fabric. Sometimes if you have great tension on your fabric, but you notice that the fabric is getting a little bit wrinkly or stretched out, it could just be that the foot is pressing down too hard on the fabric that you have. On a lot of machines, there's no way to adjust that pressure. But on this machine, you can adjust it up or down and just make that fine tuning to make the stitch look amazing. This machine is, just my favorite. If I had a boat, I'd have it in a boat. If I had it at a cottage, if I had a cottage, it would live in my cottage. If I had a camper, I would have one of these in the camper. It is just so simple to use. And doesn't it sound great, Deb? I love it. I think it sounds amazing. I made the project that is um, advertised with this bag. It's this cute little, um, what do you call that? Upcycled. This is upcycled jeans. Look at that. You use the waistband and the belt loops to make the closure for the bag. Isn't that awesome? This machine went through this with no problem. I really had so much fun um, making this project. I would make it again and again and again because, well, I have a lot of jeans to fix, Deb, and it's super easy to run it on this machine. I mean, there's just nothing bad about this machine i mean it doesn't have the bells and whistles of the bernina you can't do embroidery on this machine but as an amazing solid machine this one is great maybe a backup machine maybe for um, a family member that wants to get into sewing i mean this is a serious machine this will last for years and years and years i find that new people getting into sewing they often make the mistake of buying a really inexpensive machine and then the quality of the machine makes the sewing experience really awful. And then guess what they do? They give up sewing. They give up sewing because it wasn't fun. And if you can get them on a nice machine and make the experience good, they'll go on forever and ever. If you know somebody who wants to become a fashion student, this would be a great machine for them as well. Um, there's just nothing bad about this machine. She might have to come home with me. Yeah, got some questions, Deb? Okay, good. So hopefully that helps um, our lovely lady who had questions, Donna, about the uh, Burnett 05. What's great about this machine too is we have not forgotten about this machine. There are lots of different accessories you can add. You can add a quarter inch foot and this becomes a patchwork machine. You can get a walking foot and this becomes an amazing quilting machine. And it's great for bags too. It's, it's a really good, good machine. And recently we just brought out, don't tell anybody, Deb, a ruler work foot for this machine. Yep, you can lower the feed dogs and you can do ruler work right on this little guy. Um, that would be great to test out if you like ruler work or not, and you don't have to invest a lot of money in a really expensive ruler work foot. It's pretty great. So hopefully that'll help you with uh, information on the Bernina Burnett Academy. See, I call it Bernina because I want it to be in my Bernina portfolio. I just gave it a hug. I miss you, buddy. Um, so that's the mechanical machine. And actually it was just written up in a magazine. I forgot to include the article here as um, best in its class for all those reasons we just talked about. So that's pretty cool. Um, Burnett is also overlockers as well. We've made overlockers under the uh, Burnett name since 1990. These are great, great machines. We just added a year and a half ago, the B64 with air threading. I mean, that's pretty amazing. This machine, you just press a button and the loopers are threaded. It's pretty great. It is a regular two, three, four thread overlocker. What does that mean, Adrian? It is an overlocker that you can sew stitches with four threads, two needles, and two loopers. That's your traditional overlocking. Three threads, that would be with one needle and both the loopers working. Or two threads, just one needle and one looper working. So this is a really good versatile machine with air threading last two years and years and years. Hey, best thing about this, comes with a full lineup of serger feet and accessories 
optional as well. So you can customize this. You can put a zipper in with an overlocker. Did you know that? Can you, you can make piping Deb with an over, Deb knows, she just practiced. You just practiced that one. You, what else can you do with overlockers? Gathering, you can put in elastic with a specialized foot. You can do binding. You can bind an apron or something like that. Um, there's not much you can't do with an overlocker these days. They've really come a long way. And what's great on this Bernat machine is that we've brought over, like I said, some of the best Bernina features like micro thread control. This is a tiny little adjustment when your um, stitch is almost perfect, but not quite. <laughs> you move this magical lever and suddenly your stitch is perfect. So a lot of high-end Bernina only features are on these Bernat overlockers as well. And if you don't need an air threading machine, don't worry about that. We have um, regular overlockers as well. So that's pretty cool. I've been talking forever. I feel like people are tired of hearing from me, but I'll just finish off unless Deb has questions. I actually have one. Yep. Can you show the needle up and needle down on the BO5? Oh, so the needle up and down on the BO5, um, this machine doesn't have needle up and down on the BO5 because it's a mechanical machine. So you're gonna do it with your, your presser foot, you're gonna stop and the needle's gonna stop wherever, and then you're gonna use your hand wheel to put it up or down. Needle stop up or needle stop down can only really be done by an electronic machine because the brain of the machine tells the uh, machine to stop in the position that you've chosen. So hopefully that, that will help you. That being said, this machine is so smooth. It, De Deb and I had no complaints about having to move the needle ourselves. So that is one uh, drawback to a mechanical machine. It doesn't have that brain to give it all the fancy features. Like when you select a stitch, you still have to manually check the settings on the B05. Whereas if you're using a computerized machine like the B37 or the 79, when you select the stitch, it will set the width and the length for you, and then you can just make fine tune adjustments. Does that help? Hope, yep. hope. And Richard is asking, can you just quickly discuss why the Burnett 77 doesn't have a dedicated quarter inch foot with the guide attached? Okay, so the B7779 have um, an optional quarter inch foot that you can get with a guide. So there is, sorry, let's start again. If you want a dual feed foot, so the one that has that dual feed going down at the back for added accuracy, the foot that comes for the B77 doesn't have a guide. I think that's what Richard is referring to. It looks exactly like this. Here, let me use my close-up. It is this guy here. Maybe you can see it better on the red. All right, so you see how the needle is in the center and if you line up your fabric along the edge of the foot, it is a quarter inch away, so on and so forth. But it doesn't have the traditional guide we're used to. Um, if you've come from sewing on another brand, there's often a guide on the other side. There is, Richard, um, the, what do you call it, quarter inch foot with a guide available now, but it needs the snap-on attachment uh, to make it work. It doesn't have dual feed, but it has the guide. So that might help you because I love having that guide. You don't have to think too much about keeping a nice even quarter inch. Um, so that should be able to help you. If you have um, questions about the part numbers on that, just shoot me an email. Um, I know what you need to, to get that to work. Uh, the foot without the guide is kind of the you know, Swiss uh, European style. And uh, we've put in a request with Switzerland to get that same foot with a guide because many of us in North America are accustomed to sewing with that guide. Um, so that's why we're hoping to get a dedicated foot like that for this machine. But in the meantime, you can use it without dual feed. It's only using two layers to quilt, so that would probably work really well. And uh, shoot me an email. I'll be happy to get you the right part numbers for that. Good question. Richard knows his machines because he knows his specific foot, so yeah. That's really good. If anybody else has any questions, fire them in. I've only got a couple slides left and then I have to get back to work. Boo, Deb, boo. But just like um, Richard was mentioning, now we have so many accessories that allow you to do so many techniques on the burnettes. We have pin tucking feet, binder feet, piping feet, feet with guides. Uh, we have on this, we've got a gathering foot. 
we've got roller feet and we even have quarter inch feet and walking feet and ruler work feet for quilting. So we can fit you with just about any foot. Let us know or your local Bernina Burnett dealer, they'll help you get the right foot for your machine. So in general, why would you consider buying a Burnett? I think you get the best of uh, Swiss engineering in these machines. They are not made in Switzerland, but they are engineered by our team. You get the best of Bernina knowledge and technology. That's really great. Like I was saying, Stitch Designer, you can get that on a Burnett now. That's pretty amazing. You've got the Bernina Dealer Network across Canada to help you pick the right model and support you on your sewing adventures. We've got Bernina support in the form of documents, videos, and everything you need to get started on your Burnett um, at, you know, sewing journey. And so you get all these Bernina benefits at a great price. So I think that's a pretty good reason to, um, to use Burnett's. I want to remind you that the Bernita Spring Sale continues on and the models that we talked about today are on sale. They are in stock here in uh, our, our warehouse and we ship directly to your local store. So call your local store and order it through them. That's the best way to get your machines. Some of them have a lot of these in stock. The Burnett 38 is actually on stock, uh, on sale, not the 37, my mistake. The 38 is a great machine, uh, check it out online. It's just like the 37, but it has a cutter and it has three alphabets in it. And uh, Deb knows I like to put my name on everything. So <laughs> I do play around with that machine a lot, but uh, we have all those in stock. The Burnett 79 and the 77 come with some bonuses right now. Like I was saying with the Burnett 77, it comes with a, an accessory kit and the 79 comes with the snap hoop. The presser foot kit includes these cool eight feet, including a non-stick foot, um, a gathering foot, a cording foot, quarter inch foot, all kinds of great feet, a nice straight stitch foot. That one's great for bags as well. So a really good assortment of feet to tackle any project. And of course, it's great when you have a, a sewing machine to add accessories because you add functionality without having to go up higher and higher in your um, sewing machine. Um, and lastly, what have we got to say? so that everybody can go back to work. If you're looking for more uh, information about Burnett's, you can find product information on burnett.com. You can get a mastery guide. What's a mastery guide? Oh my gosh, I said to Mira, um, Mira said to me, oh, I'm reading the manual and uh, I'm getting ready to start sewing on this machine. And I, and I kind of thought to myself, why is she reading the manual? I would just read the mastery guide. Um, you do need both. The mastery guide is a special workbook that allows you to learn the features of your machine, how to turn corners and you know really how to use your machine. These free guides are under burnett.com. You find your model and find your workbook under support. Again, if you have a problem finding these resources, shoot us an email and we'll point you in the right direction. If you're more of a video person, guilty as charged, you might want to watch the videos on the Burnett YouTube channel. It's really hard to get there. You just got to go to Google, type in YouTube Burnett, and it takes you right there. It's a huge video library for every machine, different projects and techniques as well. So check it out. Even better, go to your local Bernina or Burnett dealer and test drive or order a Burnett. Go for it. If you're trying to find your local dealer, you can go to Bernina.com and there's a button at the top that says where to purchase. You put in your postal code, it'll tell you the four closest stores. It's pretty easy to do. So give that a shot and uh, test drive a Bernina or Burnett, whatever you like, at your local store. Deb says she has another question. Hang on. This is your last chance to get in questions. I got to go back to work because this wasn't work. This was fun. Joan is asking, she says, with the embroidery, are stitches in the machine or do you need a computer to add stitches? Ah, that's a good question. Joan was asking, do you need a computer to do embroidery or are there things already in the machine uh, ready to go? So the, an the quick answer is you don't really need a computer. No, there are fonts and, sorry, 
There are 208 designs already in the machine, ready to go. You just pick them, put the teddy bear there and stitch it out. Very simple to do. Um, guess what? There's an embroidery mastery guide for Burnett 79 and 70 that tells you just how to load designs right from your um, machine. There are seven fonts. So there's ones that are a script, there's ones that are block, there's ones that are childish, and you can customize and add people's names or lettering or poems or quilt labels. You can do all that right on the machine. You don't need to have software. If you get tired of your 207 design, 208 designs, you can buy designs on the internet, download them onto a USB stick and just load them onto machine. They're really easy. And you'll learn how to do that at your local store. They can teach you an embroidery class. And or there's courses online for that too, I'm sure. And in the tutorials, in the mastery guide, it's there. And also the videos as well. And then if you really do want to design your own designs, that's when you need a computer and software to do that. That's about it. That should hopefully help you. So you have a lot of options. You can use the stuff that's on the machine. You can buy more stuff on the internet or buy a USB stick with designs loaded on it, put it in your machine, or you can make your own designs with software. Very flexible, just like me, very flexible. Right, Deb? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See how I get Deb to compliment me? She has no option but to say yes, because otherwise she gets to use the crappy machines and I get to use the BO5. That's the way it goes. All right, well, hopefully that helped you with any questions you have on Burnett's today. You know more about Burnett and why she's so great. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have more questions, just send me an email. We're happy to answer your questions. If you need a quick response, if you have a local Bernina store, give them a call. They can help you right away. They're pretty amazing. Our best partners that we could ever ask for. And of course, 24-7, um, you can go learn about Burnett's online at burnett.com or on YouTube on the Burnett um, YouTube channel. So thanks again for spending some time with us today. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you at our next webinar, which will be on long arm machines. Maybe you've got space for a long arm. Maybe you don't. Maybe you know that you, you need one. Maybe you don't know why you need one. Join us and we'll talk long arms. See you at the end of May for that one. Take care, everyone. Bye.